Um, thank you, Martin. Um, and thanks to your wonderful team um, for putting this together. Um, you know, Debbie for keeping me honest and delivering the talks in time, booking my, my, my rooms and things like that. That's awesome. Um, Terrence for staying up all night to get this all set up and the logistics all done. Um, Lynn for arranging all of the events. I'm probably missing some people, but those are the three that, 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 uh, that stand out to me the most. Um, so it's great to see a bunch of old friends here, and it's great to also uh, meet some new friends. And I'm truly humbled by the talent in this room. Um, so I hope that what I have to say today um, helps, helps you in some way. Um, I've been in, in Amazon for about three years. I head up the, the games business development team there. Um, prior to Amazon, I was at Xbox for about 12 years. I um, was in uh, first party games development, um, doing a variety of roles. Um, so this is um, a very difficult time for me. Um, do we have anyone from the US uh, that traveled from the US? Okay, good, well, I'm, I'm in good company here. So this is for, 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 for you veteran travelers. This is about the time when your jet lag hits a wall, <laughs> right? Um, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm going to show some videos. I'm gonna ask a quiz in the end. And if you guys don't do well in the quiz, that's gonna be some cruel and unusual punishment. Um, yeah, that's, I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I will show some videos. And I'll actually ask you some questions um, to help us sort of um, get in the groove a little bit. Um, well, this teleprompter is really small. Um, so, um, I'm very, very um, excited today to share with you um, a new program that we just launched on August 26. It's called Amazon Underground. And it's built around engagement. And I'm gonna talk about what it is, um, and why we decided to do it, and why we think it's, it's super cool. So if you could cue the first video. How much? Free. Free? Actually free. Thanks. Welcome to Amazon Underground for Android, the shopping app with over $10,000 in apps, games, and in-app items that are actually free. Download today. Great, thank you. So I'm missing my little clicker, so I'm going to say, oh, there it is. Debbie delivers. <laughs> Thanks. OK, so Amazon Underground. Um, this is a, a new monetization model um, where we pay developer for engagement. Um, it turns 100% of your pay players into paying customers. And Amazon pays for every minute of engagement. Amazon pays developers for every single minute of engagement. Um, with Underground, you can focus less on monetization and focus your efforts on creating engaging gaming and entertainment experiences. So why are we doing this? Sounds kind of crazy. Um, it's actually quite simple. Two words, customer obsession. Everything we do at Amazon kind of goes back to customer obsession. In this instance, um, customers are gamers and game developers. So um, at Amazon, what we do is we just look at the perspective of our customers and we work backwards from there and we try and find ways and look around the corners to create new and innovative business models and products and whatnot that serves them much better. So um, I'm gonna ask a series of six questions um, to this room. Uh, this is the quiz part. And um, it's gonna be three questions from a customer's perspective and three questions from a developer's perspective. So, Three questions about mobile games. 
how many times, how many minutes a day a game is playing Android games on average? Anybody? Sorry? Worldwide, average, per region. Give me a number. 50 minutes a day on average. Where's, where, where, who said 50? 50. Anyone else? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Sorry? 17. This is like an auction. It's awesome. What else do I hear? <laughs> 50, 17, 25. Um, it's all correct. A lot. A lot of minutes per day. Um, people are playing Android games. I was talking to some folks last night and this morning. I remember back in the Xbox days, we were thinking about what a hardcore user is. 16 to 36 year old males that plays games for at least five hours a, a week. Five hours a week. Now, today, you know, you look at the average Android gamer. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. The answer is actually, I think, 25 minutes um, from, um, I think Flurry was the one that provided the data. Um, but that's a lot of time playing games. So next question. What is the estimated revenues for mobile games in 2015 worldwide? This is easy. New Zoo, you want to look up New Zoo right now? How many? 60 billion? Six, 60 billion? Wow. 16 billion? 20 billion? 27. Do I hear 30? <laughs> OK. Um, I think the answer is actually about 25, 30 billion dollars. That's a lot of money, right? Yeah, that's a lot of money. So this one's a little bit tricky. Um, as a gamer, just put on your gamer hat now, um, would you like to remove all paywalls? either in premium or IAP games? Yes, no? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So maybe yes, maybe no, says Akeem. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, no, maybe, ambivalent. Well, we, we talked about that, right? 20-something billion dollars, I don't know, spending an average of 20 bucks a, you know, 20 bucks a day or whatever, you know, 20 minutes a week. Oh, yeah, sorry, 20 minutes a day, uh, 20, 25 billion dollars. So quite a bit of money. Um, so the answer that we, you know, we, we post these questions to our customers and our developers. Uh, the answer we got back is yes, right? We don't want to pay. So it turns out um, that you know, our... Um, um, industry is you know, highly engaging. People play a lot. It's big. There's a lot of revenue. Um, and gamers don't like to play. Don't like to pay. Sorry. Um, it turns out they like free. They like to, things to be actually free. So we've launched this thing, um, Amazon Underground, uh, on, on the 26th of August. It's been about two, three weeks now. Um, and we got some user feedback. And here's some. So everything for free. Love this. Uh, this is someone that, you know, Molly, well, I'm playing Jetpack Joyride. So I copied this from the, from the website. And this, I, I didn't modify anything except for um, changing the, the color of the text. Um, Prasad says on My Little Pony, if you didn't like the fact that it's so hard to earn gems, that's fixed. Oh, you should put a comment there. Well, yeah. There are no in-app purchase, so no worries. How many of you guys have kids? Quite a few. How many of you guys have your, had, had your kids play My Little Pony? What's the experience like? Paywall. Paywall. Yeah. <laughs> Crying girls. <laughs> Cheap father. <laughs> OK. So that took care of it. It's actually free. You go in there, you play the game, and you just enjoy it. You hand, it, you hand your tablet or your phone to your daughter or your son, and they just play it. It's great. So this one um, by Yvette, playing Mountain Goat, Mountain Goat Mountain. I get all the goats I want. Yay. Goats. I don't know why people like goats, but they love goats. You get all the goats, goats that she wants. And all those apps collect playtime data. So that's one of the big complaints that we have. There's a lot of data that we're collecting. But why are we collecting this data? 
because the developers need to get paid. Um, the way that we're paying you is by tracking the amount of time that the user's playing. Um, and if we don't track that data, we can't pay you. So we have to track that data. And the more you play their games, the more Amazon pays them. Um, and this is really why we're doing this, is to um, you know, make the games free, increase engagement, and we pay you by the minute. So now we'll move on to mobile developers. Um, three questions here again. And put on your developer hat. The first question, what percentage share of total worldwide mobile revenue do the top 10 games make? 6 is zero? Six zero? Wow, are you in the top 10? Okay. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Anyone else? 60. 60%. 60 More than 90%. Anyone else? 100%? No. Okay. So the data I got actually says it's about 25% for the top 10 games. Um, but for the developers, I think you're, you're right. Um, the top publishers in, in their portfolio games, right, is close to that number. Um, next question. For freemium developers in the room, what is your paid conversion rate? This one's easy. It's a, yeah, it's a very small number. Akeem, what did you say? Below 3%. Below 3%. Anyone else? Some people do better. Are there any freemium developers in here? There must be. Okay, so that's usually under 5%. Not a very big number. Um, and that means that 95% of the people playing your games are not paying, right? Big problem in the industry. And so, you know, this one's a little bit of a subjective question. Are you more passionate about making games that are fun and engaging or optimizing monetization? You don't have to answer that question publicly. We're being streamed on Twitch. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So we asked this question to many developers that work with us. Um, and, you know, the answer is fairly consistent. It's, it's passion. Right? We want to build fun, engaging games. I came into the games industry many years ago to make fun, engaging experiences. I wasn't really thinking about optimizing monetization, but that's important. Um, but that wasn't why I decided to make games. Um, so today, we're sort of in this industry today with you know, very, very few developers make a lot of the money. A lot of your customers don't pay. And we're not really doing the stuff that we are really super passionate about. So how do we fix that? Um, I think you know, the reason why we came up with this underground model hopefully addresses some of these things. Um, so let's cue the second video, um, which is a group of developers Monetization about the in, in the app world is, is, is a big challenge. And obviously every, every developer out there has to monetize effectively in order to, to stay in business. In the mobile market, we have all sorts of different models. We have a free-to-play, we have a paid market, we have a freemium unlock version. Only a small percentage of your users will actually convert to, to paying users. We've seen like three to five percent. You're really not servicing you know, over maybe 90% of, of your user base, which is real shame. Well, this new program from Amazon is really exciting opportunity for developers to earn money in a new kind of way. My first thought was, well, this is a, a real shift in terms of how, you know, app and digital content is, is, is being distributed and, uh, and, and ultimately monetized. With this model, users get the game entirely free. They don't pay a dime ever. Uh, but developers still get paid, uh, and that's based on the actual engagement of the players. 100% of your users are actually being monetized, so uh, there's a big win there for developers. You uh, submit the product the same way you usually submit your products. You put your screenshots, your videos, your promotional materials, descriptions, everything the same way, and you click Submit. This is it. Easy. You're designing the game around just fun, engaging experiences, and you're not worried about the complications of adding microtransactions. And that's something that, that I think, up until now, developers have been yearning for. It's going to bring in a whole ton of new users who previously probably didn't play as many of the freemium games that are out there. We definitely see it as really bold and disruptive, and it's going to change the competitive 
marketplace for the other app stores. If you want to get your apps in, in, in the hands of as many users as possible, this really is, is, is the way to go. Great. So just to recap, four things. Amazon pays you for every minute a gamer spends in your app. Two, underground increases your base, your user base, by removing paywalls. Three, we incentivize to build for engagement. And four, if you have an Android app today that uses the premium or the IP model, it's very easy to just port it over to make it work. Um, so they play, we pay, you win. And we believe that this model is complementary to existing business models today. Um, we think it's going to work. We, we think it's great. Um, but we, we're still learning. Um, so um, you know, we, we hope, to, um, hope that industry um, would use this model to create uh, much more engaging experiences as opposed to, to focus on, on monetization all the time. <laughs>